No one asked, was the baby a boy or girl? They asked, was it normal? What you have just seen is our disgrace and our nightmare. Awareness of a chemical crisis began here at Niagara Falls, New York, one of the nation's first major hydroelectric projects and birthplace of an electrochemical industry. Today, these industries are responsible for the generation and disposal of massive quantities of deadly chemical wastes, DDM, TCP, BHC, PCBs, code words for silent killers. For decades, these wastes have been trucked to the edge of town and dumped in shallow landfills, in marshes and swamps, and in an abandoned bargeway named the Love Canal. In 1953, after 10 years of dumping hazardous waste, the Hooker Chemical Company sold the canal to the Niagara Falls Board of Education, which constructed a school on the site. Suddenly, in the summer of 1978, growing suspicions became deadly reality, and Love Canal, the front lines of the environmental crisis. Oh yeah, I'm at 99th Street all my life, right across the street from the school. And that smell was always there, and you'd come home with it on you. And there would be smoke, and the smell would be so bad, you had to have special shoes to wear. You know, in one minute you're playing in dirt, the next minute you're playing in chemicals, and you'd come home and your mother would say, what is that smell? It smells like tar mixed in with whatever, you know? And you'd have this black goop all over you, and uh, I guess they were probably, you know, then so many days no one was allowed to go play there. And I remember my mother saying something, my goodness, it really, you know, fumes are really bad today. It must be the plants or whatever. The wind must be blowing this way. It was right across the street. That's what we were smelling. We're more or less being used as guinea pigs. It's, he and came right out and said really, that. It, it is, is what the truth. It is. I mean, the only decision we had when John had the promotion was just him going and working in Connecticut and me staying here. So he changed jobs because of it, because we couldn't sell the house. It's just disgusting. It's ruling your life. It's That's what it's going to come down to. Don't uh, have kids. And people say don't just take leave a your house. husband there, wife there, kids right. there. It's <laughs> unbelievable. People say just leave your house, but you can't do that. Yeah. You have to pay a mortgage if you leave your house, and you have to pay rent where you go to. Uh, or if you want to buy a house, income. you have to have a large large down payment now. Nobody around hey, here can Dad. afford it. Oh. We're not rich people. Hey, Especially the doctor bills. Dad. The doctor Dad. bills, it's unbelievable. Well, it's just the, the fact, too, you have specialists yeah. tell you that a child should be removed, and then the New York State comes in and says those two doctors don't know anything, that they know what's right for that child when they've never even treated yeah. it. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're so swamped with doctor bills, how can you move your family? I don't even have the money to, to move, never mind to find a place to move. Everything is wrapped up in our house. Well, I just feel that, you know, even if something happens, you go to the doctor, and like you say, you just, it's a risk. You wait. I mean... Not that any pregnancy is uh, sure that everything's going to be all right, but I am from the area all my life, from 99th Street and then to 103rd. And my firstborn is mentally retarded. She has a congenital teeth defect and a congenital eye defect. So I'm even more concerned because I, I do believe it. I've never gotten answers why my daughter has these three, three major birth defects. I've had genetic experts, my husband and I were tested, and nobody knows. And so my risks are even greater, and I just, I want out of here. I just believe that it's truly something from here. Niagara Falls has become a city of signs. Signs of abandonment. Signs of warning. Signs of protest. 